It is an amazing site. It is the densest concentration of Jurassic dinosaur bone ever found. It is an unsolved mystery. We don't know how it got here, which just makes it even better. And it's a place where people can come and see real dinosaur bones still on the ground. And we may even have one or two pieces they can hold. We don't know when the first European settlers found it. We're pretty sure it was you know, ranchers or sheep herders out looking for their cows or sheep, and they stumbled across this incredible deposit. There's a, a gully out here that was cutting into the bone bed, so the side of it must have been littered with bones. That would have been probably in the early 1900s, or maybe even a little earlier. Sometime in the late 20s, they sent somebody out asking locals if they knew if there were any bones around here, and they were led here. Following that, Princeton University came out in the summers of 39, 40, and 41, led by a local guy who was a grad student at Princeton, William Stokes. In 1941, there was a uh, Princeton alum, Malcolm Lloyd, who donated $10,000 to the efforts to dig here. $10,000 in 1941 was a lot of money. Normally this would have been called the Lloyd Quarry, except Stokes really wanted his hometown of Cleveland, which is just 14 miles west of here, included. So that's where we get this huge, long name, Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry. 1960 to 64, the Cooperative Dinosaur Day was when most of the work here was done. About that time was when they realized that, hey, this is a weird deposit. I mean, we've got way too many predators. 75% of them are meteors. Uh, Two-thirds alone are allosaurs, which is why we have the Allosaurus estate fossil of Utah. The bones generally are in great shape, but the skeletons are totally blown away. How do you do that? I mean, how do you bust up a skeleton? without damaging what it's made of. One of the great things about the Bureau of Land Management working to protect a place like the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry is we can preserve as much as we can about this very special site. That is, every day that we work out here and we collect more bones, how this deposit form just becomes more and more complex. But we're still in a position where we can collect that data and we're starting to see some, some common patterns. So it it's really is truly a world-class site uh, beyond anything I've ever worked on before. The Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry is not only just important worldwide for paleontologists, but it's also a really neat place for people to come see, just in general. Even if you have no sort of dinosaur experience, it's a great place just to come out and see this massive deposit of so many different dinosaurs all in one place, something you don't get at any other locality. We staff the quarry building. Uh, we greet guests and explain the geology and paleontology of the area to them. We also can lead them on hikes in the surrounding area if they're interested in that kind of thing. People should visit here definitely to see the dinosaur bones. I think that's so cool, especially that you get to see them in the ground. So it's definitely a great spot. And you do learn a lot when you come here about the geology and the paleontology of the surrounding area. Anybody who's interested in a Jurassic Science Adventure is welcome to come out here and enjoy it with us. Cleveland Lloyd is beautiful, it's unique, it's something that you really can't see anywhere else in the world. Literally, it is the, the densest deposit of predatory dinosaur bone. The scenery is gorgeous, and it's just a way to connect with Earth history and to understand how short human lifespans are compared to the world. That you're in this place that's 148 or so million years old, but geologically, that was almost yesterday. And so you're sort of stepping into the Jurassic a bit, seeing that environment and understanding it and it's just a beautiful place to be.